Good evening. This is the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, coming to you from London, England. When you hear the buzz, it will be the correct time. It is now the correct time. <laughs> and here are your newscasters, Hardly and Worthly. <laughs> Good evening. Here is the news. I'm sorry, I'll read that again. <laughs> Here are the news. <laughs> a man in Nebraska, USA, today threw a broken beer bottle at Cuba. <laughs> the bottle, which fell some 1,700 miles short of its target, <laughs> later declared safe by army ballistics experts. <laughs> President de Gaulle, the well-known Frenchman, <laughs> has announced that on September the 3rd of this year, he will be crowned King of Europe. <laughs> President de Gaulle will perform the ceremony himself at the mental home in northern France. <laughs> And now, here is a very important message from the British Ministry of Finance. As you probably know, Britain is 400,000 million pounds sterling in debt to the International Monetary Fund. Unless this sum is raised by public donation within the next three days, the government will be forced to accept the American government's generous offer of 500 million dollars and sell the Queen. <laughs> Countless messages of sympathy and three small checks have been flooding in from all over the world. <laughs> Canada has launched a Save Our Sovereign Lady Britannic Elizabeth Regina Bonsoir appeal. <laughs> and Australia has offered to hire Her Majesty on a basis of a Lend-Liz lease. <laughs> Girl's personal offer for the Queen has been declined. <laughs> Mr. Harold Wilson, better known as the British Prime Minister, and not even well known as that, <laughs> replied in answer to an appeal, Elizabeth who? <laughs> Sir Alec Douglas Home was unavailable for comment at his London Hume. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry, it's your turn. Mr. Alexandrovich Obolensky Romanovich, a British Foreign Office spokesman, <laughs> has appealed to all members of the cabinet. At one time or another. <laughs> In the event of Her Majesty being sold to the USA, the Queen announced tonight that she had not yet made up her mind between being a cultural ambassadress to the White House or a bunny. 